Hey guys, it's Magic Slayer. Uh, welcome back to this special edition uh, Shattered Realms gameplay. Uh, made possible by my incredible urge to really screw things up. Oh my gosh. Uh, so if you guys aren't familiar, earlier today, through my live gameplay, I, um, I had a constructor that was filled all the resources that I had for two solid days of gameplay that uh, was supposed to go towards building the CV and getting off of this planet that's resetting oh now in a couple hours <laughs> and in the base that I had set up which was basically just a concrete slab so I could spawn things in and there was a furnace, an advanced constructor, and a food thing, and a healing thing. And apparently, the constructor was being supported by the food thing, by the food processor. And I'm taking it apart because uh, I was I had set it up there next to a gold meteorite, and uh, the gold meteorite was gone because I uh, it was a three o'clock disconnection so we, I logged back on and the meteorite was gone so I'm like okay no problem and I started packing up everything but I didn't pull everything out of I didn't pull I don't think I pulled anything out of the constructor and I took down the I, I took I took down the uh, the big furnace and I took down the the food processor and I heard boom and watched my constructor fall over with two days worth of materials I think the thing that hit me the hardest was all the sathium that I lost but so I, I spent the rest of the day recovering I uh, didn't fully recover but I was able to get some things done um, but obviously not enough to completely leave the planet Pick this stuff up here. So now I have got to scramble and do enough stuff, make enough stuff. I might I have a light on this thing. I need to put a light on this thing. Um. Yeah, I got I got I got to get off the planet, and out of the solar system, because uh, it's all getting reset tonight. So if I don't do that. I am screwed. I'll have only the stuff that's on my person. Which, that's not a lot. <laughs> my big fat person. Which, yep. See, I'm a fatty. <laughs> Anyways. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much what I'm doing. And of course, this isn't going to be live gameplay. I'm going to edit it a little bit. But it's a, it's a special. You know, it's special... Uh, YouTube, Twitch, pre-recorded. Alright, so, I have got to... Come on, come up. Alright, I've... i got to bring this guy in, right here. Junker 1. So, is it still in my factory? Yep. So, Junker 1 is a beautiful ship. It's, uh... Just what the name implies, actually. There's a lot of holes in it. I'm going to fix those holes. But, so that's all I, all I have left to do right here. And I have an hour and 14 minutes to do it in. Uh, let's put these in here. An hour and five minutes <laughs> to, uh, to get this completed. Or, uh, well, uh, of waiting for the blueprint to complete anyways. Let me, I'm going to buy five of those. That's expensive, but not uh, totally overpowered. So I've, I've got to hurry up and I've got to get as much iron as I can hold. And I honestly think I'm just going to keep pumping it directly into, into the thing there. This until I get enough. Um... But yeah, I gotta get uh, this done here. So, 
So, I gotta find some iron. And lots of it. The good thing is, is through this reset, uh, it's not, uh, I hope it's not a full server wipe. But if it is, I know they'll figure out some way to hold the characters and, you know, they'll make it up to us. Ooh. There's a meteor strike. I don't know if I, yeah, you know what, I don't have time. I will chase after the meteors, but for right now, you know what, I wonder. Library, let me see what other, now I got my proto miner. Just a gerbil, yeah, that takes a lot more stats even than I got. First step, CV first step. I don't know, I think even that takes more than I have. Sassium. No, actually. Let's see. Oh, a lot more iron, neodymium, and cobalt. So, I can't even make that one yet. Let's go back to Junker 1. To the factory. See, so yeah, I need to get uh, I need to get some iron. Even check the moon out. Yeah, let's fly to the moon. So I want to see if I have the same glitch on the moon. Let's see. There we go. The downside is I have no oxygen, so. To be an interesting, interesting endeavor, to say the least. I never did check and see if there's any iron asteroids. Not that I could fully utilize them, anyways. All right, flying to the moon. All right, here on the moon. Um, yeah, I thought the moon would be bigger for some reason. I don't know why. But I'm really not seeing anything, although. Oh, well, I crashed into that really hard. I'm not really noticing the uh, the degradation either, or the conflict either. Hold on. Crushed stone. I don't know if that means it's worth actually mining here. Although crushed stone is always a good thing, but... I need a beefier... Beefier miner, really. Really utilize the, uh, the stone. Uh, let's keep exploring this area, maybe... I don't know, maybe we might come up across some kind of... Deposit somewhere. Oh, something already lit up. Let's see, uh... See what we come across here. Oh, it's a drone base! Oh god! Back up! Oh! Oh! Ho oh, ho Um... Owie? Oh, I'm really backing up here. Crunk. Oh, I still have my... <laughs> there went some glass! <laughs> I'm out of here. Not taking on a drone base. Uh-uh, no way. 
Cash me out. My wife's favorite saying, cash me outside. No, no, there's no response. She is completely and 100% totally ignoring me. <laughs> All right. So, that's a no. I guess worst case scenario, I can mine up a massive amount of crushed stone in order to get some iron. Oh, that's an iron deposit. Let's see if it's a true iron deposit. Uh, oh, oh, the controls in this thing. Oh, that's right. Look at my automatic break off. It helps when I actually fly my machine the way I'm supposed to fly my machine. Okay, so. Oh, hello, there, Mr. Benno. You're dead. Oh, the villagers have come out. It's the village people. Young man. I say young man. Oh, okay. Time to loot your corpses. I say young man. Gonna take your protein bars and then run and kill some more dinos. Okay. Iron deposit. I'll speed you guys through this part. All right, so I uh, forgot that I had this base core on me. And I have some concrete blocks. I'm going to make a pad. I can spawn in. This thing. Uh, oh, where'd it go? Wait, hold on. Two. Nope, nope. That's a factory. Okay. Oh, I don't know where anything that. Proto miner. There we go. Spawn this then. Oh, nope. Oh, oh, right there. There we go. So I can mine this up faster. All right, guys. I'll be back.
that job done. All right, quite a bit. All right, so I'll pull power out of this thing. Oh, fill it, take it out. There we go. And I'll take this thing apart. Uh, well, I'm gonna put that in here for right now. I don't think it's gonna let me add that into my uh Into my factory just yet. Actually, I don't know a way to do it. Go pick the biggest, baddest. No, I can't. All right, so semi biggest, somewhat baddest. those in there for now. Okay, so I picked up the base. I got the miner. Hop in here, fly out, and head back to the temple. All right. Almost back to base. Well, temple. It's the temple. The Brotherhood of Far. Correct. <laughs> Here, line it up and fly right in. Oops. Oh, wow. Right, I got my flight license. Yeah, hey, don't mind me. Just come through. Just clanking on stuff. Okay. Alright, let's tell Pojo. I'm here. I'm here with the Sathium. Okay. Uh, make sure I actually have the Sathium on my person. I mean, I have it for here. Or landings. <laughs> and I survived. I don't see Pojo. I know he's around here somewhere. It's not my landing, so it's probably outside. All right. There's Pojo. Hey, 
Hey, stop turning! Stop turning away from me! I'm right here! Alright. Construct them. All right. So I need to. I need the furnaces. Oh, I need food. I need the fed. All right, so go upstairs here. Into the furnace. And craft this up. All right, first stack here. Let me throw it into the I think, of course, I got the long, the, the long, the wrong uh, thing loaded. Uh, it's a factory. Hey, hey, 53 minutes. All right, so start production. Ah, it takes so long, but it'll get done, and I'll be able to to, to get up into space and get out of here. So that's what it's all about. Hey guys, I'm back. It didn't take long, did it? <laughs> From here, it's been forever. Let me get a level. Um, so. Wait, half of it's age. Oh, okay, that's a normal bug. Anyways. Here we go. It's in there. It's completed. The Junker. Let's spawn this bad boy in. Oh. Ho, ho. This thing is a thing of beauty. Why can't I spawn it in? I'm gonna spawn this on a base. I thought this was a base. The base, base, see base. All your base are belong to us. No. Wait, wait. Oh, it turned green. Yes. Oh, and it's in. It's leaning. But it's in. Oh, finally. All right. This is the CV. That's going to get me into space. Okay, I may need to fix the landing gear. Or the lack thereof. But it's here. It's this is it. This is the junker. This is the one that I mean, it has some problems. Well, maybe a little bit of issues. But we will get this going. Better than my wife's computer, of course. As she just so elegantly put. Anyway. All right, I gotta fuel this thing up. Let's pump some fuel into this thing. Ooh, it took every last little bit of things I got. Let's, let's turn off the lights for now. Need the lights. I don't think there's any turrets or weapons on this thing. Uh, let's see ramps. There's a lot of signals and sensors. Cargo boxes, eh? quite a few cargo boxes. So zero cores. Oh. Oh, oh, no, it's right there. Okay. Ooh. Doors. One, uh, one door. One armor locker. Twelve flares. Wow. One food processor, so there's two fridges, two one food processor, so there's that. Oh, okay, so there's one, two, three, four, five fuel tanks. So much fuel this thing has left. Let's save the template here real quick. Get the lock code, doesn't matter. Uh let's see. Power left. 29 hours, I think that is. Um let's go up to the you know what? Uh, let me get the let me get my SV. I think we may have to fly this thing into the air just a little bit, and maybe work on the whole um, 
bleeding thing, maybe? I don't know. Let's announce this thing. Got my CV, finally. I can leave the system. All right, well, let's fly this thing right into the hangar. The hangar. Hangar. Um. Well, it, it is. Uh, let's try it this way. H hangar. Um. Not opening. Uh oh. What I do? Oh. Okay. All right. Let's try it that way. Oh boy. Oh. Ho, ho. I can't fly. Um. <laughs> uh, I, 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 I'm not flyer kid. All right. Hold on. Oh crap. All right. So this door. I'm gonna move some stuff around in there. Don't I? Oh. All right. Well, this this is definitely a work in progress. Um. Ooh, hey. Can I fly it right into there? And then it, eh, no. Let me try and get into the door here. Just like that, so that way I can jump up. Up, maybe? Jump up? There we go. I just shut it again. I shut it again. Stay open! I don't know why this isn't opening automatically. Unless the sensors have turned it off. Okay, here we go. And oh, hey, I'm docked. It's docked. All right. Well, let me go upstairs to the flight deck. And oh yeah, this is a fixer upper, but it's not a lemon. Yo. Ha ha ha. It flies. <laughs> Alright, now if I remember correctly, this doesn't have. There's a couple things this thing doesn't have, which is good, because I actually don't want it to have it just yet. I will add it on later. Uh there's no constructor. Gotta add that on there. Ooh, ooh, ooh. All right. There is a food processor, which is good because food. That's the advanced constructor I have. O2. Fill these up. I do need to make some force field generators. The way I can section off some some areas here. Let's see repair bay. That's not there. Got the armor locker, clone chamber, health, oxygen station, got all that. Crew quarters, this is where it's lacking a little bit, as you can see. It does kind of give me access to back here though, doesn't it? But this is where I think, uh, can I get in there? Uh, I, I, I can't even get through there. Well, that's where the constructor is supposed to go. So maybe where I should put the constructor. Repair bay constructor, yep. So, nine. No, actually, constructors may have changed a little bit since 
this thing was built. I don't know. I'm not entirely familiar with this design, so I don't know who built it. And there we go, I got the advanced constructor in here. And I think these are just steel. Yep, steel blocks. Okay, so. But this one isn't going to fall apart on me like the base. <laughs> oh, I hope not. But okay, anyways, we, we got this, so uh, I'm pretty sure we can... I don't know where we gotta go. I'm gonna have to look this up. Find out where... What sector's not getting reset? I believe it's just the starter planets. So we, if we jump to the next system, which means once we jump, there's no coming back here. There's no... There's no coming back to the starter planet, so... There's that. Alright, so, there's a hole right here in the floor. That needs to be patched. Um, like that. And I want to... Color that light gray. I want to make every patch look like it's actually been patched. So that's going to sit down a little bit more symmetrical, but it's not going to sit perfect at all. Alright, let's see. What else do I got? I got... Oh, um... I need... Got some combat steel, got that block. Need some protection. For the warp fuel. The fuel tanks. Warp, here we go. This has a warp drive. And a tank. Main. Warp tank. Alright, good for 64 AU. Which means I don't even know where I can go. I can go to Dora Dorel Five. Nice. Okay, so Dorel Five. What do I know about it? I know nothing about it. Great. All right, so this this server does reset the starter planets at three. All righty, so if I put force fields, I'll try and figure out some way to put force fields over some of these walls. I think it'll look cool, to be honest with you. Look like big holes, gaping holes in these insides. Big plans, big plans, big plans. The water, ooh, see? Okay, so, off to Dorel 5. I believe I am all ready. Boy, I hope. I should probably get some more food in my stomach. Before I do anything. But perfectly honest. Um... Yeah, let me patch that hole real quick in the floor. Uh, right there. Let's see. Get the wall. And right there. Hey, I mean, here's the funny thing. It, it, I want it to look. Uh, 
hopefully gaudy, kind of. Like this, like this ship is literally just pieced together. There you go, see? Got a patch, now I can walk through the- ooh, oh, got a patch there too. Dink, right there. Look at that. Um... Yeah, so, yeah, so there's, there, there's a hole, I can see daylight. But yeah, you know, it, it's all good. <laughs> Okay. All right, guys. I have stocked up. I believe I'm all ready to go. I got some uh, some more medals. Got a couple armor boosts I might need. I don't know. Uh, I got an automatic core. I will need that. And I'm not quite ready to go hit uh, hit POIs just yet. I will be hitting POIs. Definitely hitting POIs. Have to. There's there's no choice. Um. There's a spider. <laughs> Gotta check and make sure I'm not in line of fire for anything. Well, I think we're all set to uh, finally leave the starter planet with uh, two hours to go yet. Uh, two hours to spare. It's almost one o'clock in the morning here. I'm staying up late tonight. But, we did it. We got it. This thing is janky as hell, but man, we can get up into space and we can uh, we can cruise around in it. That is for sure. Let's see. Oh. Let's see if I can do it again here. Uh, oh, come on, no. What am I, I, I didn't even... I didn't even land on that. I land on a bug. That's the whole thing. There is no weapons on this thing. <laughs> oh boy. Um. Do I get up there? Oh, I made it. All right. So I'm up. I'm in. All right. That's uh. That's docked and all set. God. It's close. To not that it matters. Let's close some doors. Get up here in the, uh, the flight deck. All right, this is the maiden voyage of the Exodus, which is a fitting name. This, uh... Oh yeah, I mean that's a pretty good thrust. That's all it has. <laughs> As you can see there, the Exodus. I don't know who made the ship, but uh, we were going to use it for a ship graveyard. I think that's why I had it in my... Um, I, had, I had it in my, my blueprints. No oxygen. Ooh, yeah, put my helmet on. <laughs> a vacuum of space. <laughs> oh! Look at this thing. Look at it. It's a thing of beauty. It's a rust bucket. Okay, so. Gotta, you know. It's a little bit of work here and there. You know, big gaping holes. You ignore those. That, those, those are you know, character. That's character. See? It's character. Alright, so. Let me see, we gotta go to Dural 5. Block target. Find. There's Dural 5. Uh, center of the black plane. Oh, that was upside down. Position just right. Turn off auto braking because gravity. Um, and let's do it. It's working. It's doing it. Hopefully it doesn't break down halfway through.
I wonder if they're gonna do that. In, I wonder if they're gonna make that into an animation. Oh, the planet! It's so green. I can go left. I can't go right. There's no right thrust. But I can actually compensate for that. See, so Doral Five: Copper, Neodymium, and Gold. Hey, there's gold on this planet, which is good. We need some gold. Silicon, magnesium, and pentaxid on the moon. Random pentaxid meteorites? Nice. Oh, hey! Atmosphere is breathable. I can build a, uh, a base on Dorel. Although I don't know how... how inhabited Dorel is. But, what we can do... Let's find out tomorrow. Find a good spot to park. Preferably up against an asteroid so I don't float away. <laughs> Yeah, iron, cobalt, and gold. So there are gold asteroids out here. Probably surrounded by some pretty gnarly things. Which this thing, as you can tell, is not equipped to handle gnarly things. Alright, let me find a good place to park. So if you guys know me and watch any of my videos, I like to park kind of out in the middle of nowhere for a little bit. Just to kind of stay... I mean, this isn't PvP, so I'm not concerned with anybody coming and messing with my stuff. Um, or I'm not on PvP, I should say. This is kind of a short video, kind of. I don't know. For me, it was quite long, but uh, for you guys, I think it's going to be quite short. So I don't know. Anyways, a uh, special edition of the Shattered Realms. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, make sure to check out my live stream, which is every day, except for Saturdays. Sundays is kind of off and on. It depends how I'm feeling on Sunday. It's usually right around noon. And, uh, you know, we stream all day, pretty much, until about 5 o'clock. Uh, also, uh, I, I will be releasing a video on the Scorpion Challenge, if you guys are wondering, wondering what that is. If you've been to my uh, my Twitch and you're just like, hey, what Scorpion Challenge? What the heck is that? Uh, I'll make a new, I'll, I'm going to make a video about that here soon. And, uh, you know, hopefully, who knows? But remember uh, to play hard and game harder. And until next time, guys, safe journeys.